All right, so let's look at the third example for angular velocity. And it says if a point is in motion on a circle through an angle of alpha radians in time t, then its angular velocity omega is given by omega, which is the angular velocity, is alpha over t. Okay. So let's look at a quick picture. You've already seen this if you've watched the other videos. All right, so basically what we want to know is this, as this point's traveling around the circle, we want to know how's that angle changing, okay? And angular velocity is given in radians per uh, unit of time, radians per second, radians per minute, radians per hour, and so on, okay? So let's look at an example, okay? Uh, all right, so it says the Earth revolves on its axis once every 24 hours. Assume that Earth's radius is 6,400 kilometers. Find the angular velocity in radians per day and radians per hour. All right, so, so obviously this would be, uh, we've got the Earth spinning on its axis. Uh, and you know we're gonna we'll have a point from the center or we'll have a from this the point would be measured from the center of the earth out to the crust okay so it revolves on its axis once every 24 hours all right so let's write down our formula angular velocity is alpha over t. So I need the angle it makes in a, in a given time. Okay, well, what does it say? It revolves on its axis once every 24 hours. Okay, so in 24 hours it revolves once so that's what 360 degrees or what 2 pi okay so that's the angle it makes in what amount of time well in 24 hours okay so now we can plug this in to our formula we've got alpha we've got t so the angular velocity is going to be uh, 2 pi over 24, which would be pi over 12 radians per hour. Okay, And that's what they wanted. They wanted radians per hour. Okay. Now, they also want radians per day. Alright, so this is one of our solutions that they were asking for. Now the other one, the angular velocity, we need to just convert this to radians per day. So that's pi radians per hour. So pi over 12 and that's radians per hour. So what do we need on the bottom? In the denominator, we need days. Okay. All right. So what do we know? We know in one day, there is 24 hours. All right. So what that does is that cancels the hours for us and that leaves us with radians per day. And so if we multiply this out, well, look at this. That's 1. That's okay. 12 goes into 24 twice. So that would be what? 2 pi radians. Oh. Radians per day. Okay. <clears throat> now, while we're at it, 
There's also a lot of times these problems ask you to find the linear velocity. Okay. Well, there's there's a couple of formulas for linear velocity, and I'll do some separate videos on linear velocity. But one of the formulas for linear velocity is the angular velocity times the radius. Okay. So well, we've got the radius. They told us to assume it's 6,400 kilometers, and we have the angular velocity. Actually, we've got it twice. We've got radians per hour, radians per day. Well, let's use the radians per hour, and, and we'll do it again with radians per day, but radians per hour, so that's going to give me the linear velocity would be what pi over 12 that's the angular velocity times the radius 6400 kilometers and let's see what is, what would that be okay. and then times pi. so that would be 1675.5 Five. Okay, so that would be 1,675.5, and that the distance is in kilometers, and the time we used this angular velocity that was in radians per hour, so that would be kilometers per hour. Okay, now what if we wanted to find the linear velocity using this angular velocity, radians per day? Well, it's the angular velocity, 2 pi, times the radius. So that's going to give us, what, 12,800, and the distance is in kilometers, and the time was in days. So that would give us kilometers per day. So that's something helpful. You know, a lot of times you get problems where they ask you, they, they want you to find the angular velocity and the linear velocity. Okay. So, you know, if once you find the angular velocity, you can just plug it into here. But like I said, I'll do some videos on linear velocity where they don't give you the angular velocity. All right. So uh, thanks for watching. Hope this helped. And give me a like, subscribe, and share.